I saw the tennis player Matthew. I was very excited. This chance is very precious. We can communicate with players in close distance. They put up a love for like a smash or something. Yeah. So you don't get in each other's way. It's important to say it's mine or it's yours. I went to interview some of the volunteers. They said that Master Cup is not just a competition to them. It makes their life very interesting and they could work while meeting the tennis masters. I visited the locker room and the restroom of the players and I interviewed a worker here. I've played tennis before. Before I thought it was just a game or a competition and now I think tennis can be someone's life. The person that I found the most interesting was a person who collects balls, it's also called a ball boy. Since I haven't actually been to actual tennis competitions before, I find it extremely interesting that we actually get to watch it right here and in such an amazing court. Like, for example, if you look there, you'll find like the main court and then have roofs, roofs that can like open and close. I was really impressed that they dared to speak to strangers, like foreign singers, even the master tennis player. I think they did make a big step. The close contacts um, and dialogues allow students to establish a close uh, connection with those masters, listen to their insights, learning valuable um, knowledge and experiences. So the kids learning that tennis is a sport that not only requires the physical fitness, but also hand and eye uh, coordinations and strong mental focus. It's great to see um, some young children over here being journalists, asking me questions in China, tennis, is really gaining tour de force. I'm very much into the idea of promoting critical thinking and inquiry, and it's just great to mingle and with such an international crowd.